Hey everyone, in this week's episode of Digging Deeper, I'm showing you part two of FQT Farm, talking about the animal program. Uh, it's quite impressive what is being done here. The farm here has 500 layers. You can see them, they're poking my feet right now. And uh, they're in uh, 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 egg mobiles that are moved so that they're on fresh grass. The cows, I think we can see them in the back. Cows are on pasture also, and they're moved inside in the winter in a really nice barn. And then we have pigs pigs in the forest that are having an amazing time, great, great life for them. And they're also moved inside, some of them in the winter. And the goal of having the animals here on this farm was to offer a complete diet to our customers and clients and the people that are surrounding the farm, but also to have a holistic program where it's just complete. And if there's two things that I've learned of all these, these six years being here at the farm, about animal husbandry is that A, it's really different from market gardening. And frankly, I'm not sure that it's possible to do both, have a really productive and, and kick-ass market garden and having all the animals on the farm and, and or do it well, to do both well. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is I have such, I've grown such a tremendous respect for the people that do animal husbandry maybe chicken, pigs, or cow, or whatever. I just, I've learned to appreciate the amount of hard work that goes into it, but also the care. And the care is really the key here. Because it's not just about systems, it's not just about, you know, or the chickens are in eggmobiles, or the cows always outside, or all of this. It's about the care that we give to these animals. And I think that's the future of farming, is caring you know, food grown with care by people who care. And in this video, we'll be showing you the animals and um, Danny's gonna tour you. Danny's the, um, the animal guy here at the farm. And again, kudos to him and his team. It's really important and check it out. My name is Danny. I'm the manager of the animals here at the Ferm Catsbeth. In this barn, the youngest ones are at the other end, and as they get older, they get moved up to each pen. And then this pen here at the end is our finishing pen. We weigh this pen every two to three weeks, and we pick the ones that we want to send. These guys here get a special mix for their age, which involves more, more protein. The younger they are, the more protein they need to, to grow, and when they get finished, they get more they need more energy, so they get more corn silage. That's what makes the meat marble. Any uh, mothers that are uh, that are pregnant in the summertime are out on pasture. Also, we started raising Angus and Semmental along with the Wagyu and Belt of Galloway. And one other thing we're doing now too is we're, we're crossing a Semmental with an Angus because the Semmental is a little leaner meat and the Angus is a little fattier, so the two together should be a good cross. Well, I was born and raised on a dairy farm. I've been here for seven years. I managed two other dairy farms before I came here besides uh, being born and raised on one. We're heading to the outside pig pasture. These are the smallest ones we got. They've been here for a month. They're a Tamworth cross with a Duroc and a Berkshire. That's why you get the red. If you see the red pig, that's a Tamworth. I like the Tamworth because uh, they can on a hot days with the with the red skin instead of the white skin, it's a lot it's a lot easier for them to take the heat. We move them around. Next week they'll have to be moved because they've been in here long enough. This was all weeds and grass, and now it's getting chewed up, so it's time to move them on. The grass comes back uh, very well, as you can see over here. We want to walk over here. The next section there's been no pigs there for a month. As you can see, this was all this was like this a month ago. This section here. Now it's all growing up. What we'll do is we'll probably next week, this group will go into that section there. And if we got time too, what we'll do is uh, the last rotation in the fall, we'll go around and spread by hand some grasses for next year for them to eat, pick at. We feed them apples too. Local apple uh, guy who the apples aren't, don't pass inspection, he gives them, not gives them, but we buy them from him to feed to the pigs also. They're pretty, uh, I don't know, to me, they're a pretty smart animal, the pigs. So. We got another group over there too that are bigger ones outside. I don't know if they're gonna come out, but like I say, they're pretty nervous. 
They're way, they got maybe uh, an acre and a half here to run around in. I'll go ahead a little more. You see, we got it all fenced off in the sections. There's a fence here. And then there's another section and another section. We didn't use all the sections this year because we didn't have many pigs, but now we're going up. So I'm going to have uh, about 400 uh, pigs gone to uh, market this year. Well, that's about it for animals and for beef and pigs on my side. It's a lot of work. I got five people working with us there, so it's, uh, I got a good team. So everything works out well. We all get to go along together, so that's a good thing. That's the tour and I'll take care of it for today. So as you've seen, FQT Farm, Ferme Quatre Temps, is a pretty unique place. Having, you know, the market garden that we've seen in part one, and now looking at the work that Danny does here with the animals, with the pigs, with the cows, and with the chicken, with his team. And we haven't even talked about what Chloe does with all the admin and all the systems that we have to get this farm up and running. It's a pretty special place. And, you know, part of the mission when we started it was to share what could be. And uh, I think in this channel, we'll be doing more of that. So I hope you like this week's episode. If you did, please make sure to subscribe. It gives us the signal that you guys are into it and that we should keep on producing these. Uh, if you want to learn more about how I farm, check out the Market Gardeners Masterclass and join the community of growers. We have people from all over the world in our community and it's amazing. And Growers Magazine is launching now. So check it out. It's a bomb. You guys will love it. I'm so happy with it. Hope you're well. JM out. Farm on. <laughs>